film a uh, plan with me video for the last week of January in my horizontal Erin Condren planner. So let me just get to this week's spread. I think it's this one. Alright, so we're going to plan out this week. Um, I'm using some of the older kits that I had. So I'm using uh, January's kit as well as I think this was December's kit. Um, I think I'm just going to mix like the berry colors and I'm going to like that look. So um, I'm doing some of that. I also think I'm going to do a little bit of stamping in this uh, week's spread as well. So we're going to figure it out together and I'm following the same plan of my week that I was doing um, in my Erin Condren vertical. I'm going to start by putting down this um, meal planning sticker that I made for January. If I could get it on straight that would be fabulous. It's not even like close to straight. There. Then I'm going to put down some of these um, half boxes, or not half boxes, but these ombre boxes, and I think I'm going to put them, I want to say that I'm going to put them in the box, um, but I'm not sure, maybe I could just put them in the middle. No, I think I might have to put them in the box, but no, I kind of want my hydrate stuff there, so I think I'll put these on the side next to the box. And then in the box, I'm going to put like some meal planning things in there. So I'm going to alternate between the berry colors. And then this is the last one. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I could also add another one of these. But I think maybe that might be too much. But I'm not sure. I think I'll put this guy right next to it and have two kind of checklists like that. Um, so then Monday I also wanted to mark it down as payday. So I think I'll use, let me see, what should I use? This little uh, money icon sticker as well as some labels for each one of my shops. So I'm going to use um, a purpley one and this pink one. And I'm just going to put them down here. But I will use one of these weekend uh, banner stickers. I'm going to line up the K in the middle. just like that and that's my little weekend banner right there now let me find what I was going to use for here kind of feel like I should use the sprinkle washi I wanted to like mark off the two days but maybe I won't use that maybe I'll have like something else that I could find I think I'm gonna go with the sprinkle washi guys all right I don't really know how this spread is gonna turn out so we're kind of just like rolling with it here. I'm gonna cut some off and then we're gonna see what to do with that. So I'm gonna make it into kind of like a banner arrow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut off this piece and make it into like an arrow. And then this side, I'm going to make a flag looking thing. All right. So we're going to use this, this guy right here. All right, guys. So I'm going to use this little set. I think this is Studio L2E. And I'm going to use the TV from this set. And this is um, Studio Calico. Um, stamps so I'm going to use this little hydrate one first and guys I'm stamping the right way this time so I have my block here and I'm gonna stamp these guys and put them on the flatter side not the top like I normally did I'm putting them like on here 
and then I could see through it like the stamp. So that's gonna make stamping so much easier, I think. Let me see how big these are. Okay, if I do it close enough, then I could still fit a green juice sticker. All right, so I'm using this little purple Versamagic chalk ink. This is in the color just purple, I guess. Get some ink on here. Then I'm just gonna stamp him right at the edge. There we go. There's one. And I have seven more to go, or six more. You guys are totally right about this. This is so much easier to stamp this way and actually a lot faster. I can't believe nobody ever really told me this before until I started stamping in my videos. But then again, if you didn't see it, nobody else would have told me because you wouldn't have known how I've been stamping. So now I'm glad that I was trying out stamps in my videos for you guys to give me advice on proper stamping techniques because that just looks so much better. And I always have like, a, when I stamp, I always have like a damp paper towel with me um, so then I could just wipe off the ink and then put this um, stamp back into the set. Alright guys, then I'm going to put my green juice sticker down. So I need green juices every other day starting on Monday. So I'm going to put my little green juice guys right there. They fit perfectly next to my hydrate stamp sticker. Just like that. So for the meal planning one, I'm using this other berry color. This is in the color Perfect. I don't know, these are so hard. I think this is called Perfect. I can't, I don't really know which one is the name. But anyway, doing that same thing, I'm putting um, my stamp on the side. And I'm gonna put him right up there. Totally meant to put that a little higher, but oh well. And I totally meant to put that one higher as well. All right, now for real. Okay, this is stamping a lot lower than I wanted it to, but there we go. Just putting my meal stickers in. It's kind of hard because I'm looking at like from a side since you guys are the ones directly above the planner and not me. Otherwise I'd be able to see better. Alright. So then I'm just going to wipe this off again. Okay now for the TV sticker that I'm going to use. Let me just take this out of the packaging. I clearly have not used the stamp set yet but I'm really trying to use stamps more. So I'm taking this little TV guy and I'm putting him, let me see, I want him, oops, let's try on the bottom piece now, maybe that'll help me stamp. So I'm putting him like on the bottom right there, and then I'm going to use that purple ink, and we're going to put it on Monday and on Friday, those are the two days that I have shows. So I'll put Monday right up here. And on Friday up there as well. Oops, I can't do that. The rings are in the way. Okay, I need to move this stamp over. All right, so now my stamp is at the top and I'm gonna put him right here. There we go. Oh, that one came out so nice. And then again, just wiping off the ink off of my little TV. All right, then I'm just gonna fill in the two shows or three shows that I have to watch. So here I'm watching uh, Foster's and Jane the Virgin. And then here I'm just watching uh, Vampire Diaries. So I'm going to use this little half box sticker and I'm going to put him, I'll put him right here. 
And then on top of that, I'm going to use this camera, just like that. And I'm gonna write list new releases. I'm gonna do something similar for Thursday, but instead of the giant half box, I know I need to like take photos of the pictures, edit the photos, do a video on the new releases. Um, I need to print and cut the new releases, so that's like five things already. So I'm gonna use two of these purple checklists on Thursday. Let's use, let's use the darker colored one. I don't know if two of them fit on top of each other, they don't. So I'm gonna put them just like so. Um, so I'm gonna like fill it in later, but um, I'm just doing like the basic outline for you guys. So I have that so far. On Saturday, I wanted to just take a day to like relax, you know, do a face mask, a hair mask, paint my nails, etc. So, so for Saturday, I'm just gonna use this square stamp that I have, uh, and I'm gonna put him down right here on my block. And then, uh, let's see, Saturday, I'll use this reddish color, and I'm just gonna get some ink. It's just gonna be a square. All right, and then I'm gonna place him right there. So I just made like a little square outline. And then I'm just gonna write relax. And I'm also gonna use this uh, purple camera little icon sticker. And I'm gonna put him I'll put them right here. There's one more thing for Saturday. I wanted to uh, watch Star Wars because uh, I'm trying to watch Star Wars every week before my boyfriend gets back. So I need to put down another little sticker here and I'm just gonna put down this little label sticker. I'm gonna put him just right here. And Sunday, I know I also have a to-do list other than Etsy, so then I'm also gonna use a little half box uh, checklist that I have here, and I think I'll use the lighter color one, and I'm just gonna put him down right here. Um, the only other thing that I didn't put in is the weather, and I don't really know where to put that in um, the horizontal spread. I honestly have no idea. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. I forgot my little dishwasher sticker. So my dishwasher stickers go on every day. That's not a green juice. And I'm just going to put that also next to those little hydrate stickers. Or hydrate stamps, rather, that I did. So we'll put those like that. Um, and, okay, now I seriously think that's it for this whole entire spread. Um, I do know that I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, like the meal planning down here, and then I have it again here as well as the hydrate. And here I could put in what I need to like meal prep for that day or the next day, etc. So I have kind of like breakfast, lunch, and dinner already made for the next day. As far as hydrate goes, yes, I know I have it both here and here, but I'm so bad with hydrating and I just need to be held super accountable for that. Um, and I think that's going to be it for this week's uh, plan with me spread for the Erin Condren Horizontal. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. Let me know um, how you guys plan yours, any changes you would make or anything else. Um, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care because I care and I love you. Bye!